In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart that God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord, confessing our sin. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear Son, went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since, in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided, through the foolishness of our proclamation, to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs, and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles, but to those who are the called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord is a great God, oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. 
He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their temples. He told those who were selling the doves, take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this and they believed the scriptures and the word that Jesus had spoken. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, we hope very much that this is the last time that we'll be broadcasting a Sunday Mass from a locked church. And next week we're planning to gather uh, live for Mothering Sunday as we begin public worship once again. And so once again, once again, we're looking for things to change and that really has been a notable point throughout this whole dreadful last year, having to change plans and change our ways. No sooner have we made plans for one thing, but we have to alter it and do it a different way. And this has been so restless, what's made the time so exhausting for us. Uh, and it certainly isn't over yet. Today's gospel that we've just heard is all about change. It's specifically about the money changers who were just simply racketeers trying to cash in on people's goodwill and their faith, people wanting to take advantage. This was meant to be a house of prayer, but they had made it a den of thieves. So Jesus turns over their temples and casts them out. And what he says to them and to all those who were listening then, and he indeed says to us, is that it's a better sort of changing that's required. What Jesus is looking for in us, what God is calling us to, is to change ourselves, metanoia, a turning around, a sense of repentance that we've been going in the wrong way, and to reject those things that simply will never lead us to lead a full and flourishing life, to reject those things, to turn, metanoia, to change, to change our ways. And when we're marked with ash in the sign of the cross at the start of Lent, albeit virtually this year. We're reminded that we're dust and to dust we shall return. And then, in the modern words at least, we're told to turn away from sin and to be faithful. That is the enduring challenge of Lent. And the wonderful news for us all is, we're not too late to start. If we've made a late, late, a late or a poor start to Lent, then it's not too late to get that right. We're not quite halfway through this season yet. So just ask yourself, what is it that you would like to change in your life? What would you fundamentally wish to improve and ask God to help you to make that change, make that turn. Because it's not too late, it's never too late. And with God's help, well, it might well work. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to our Heavenly Father. We pray for your holy people, that they may triumph over evil and grow in grace. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For candidates for baptism and confirmation, that they may live by every word that proceeds from your mouth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the nations, that you will guide them in the ways of mercy and truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the needy, that they may not be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the sick in body, mind and spirit, that they may know your power to heal. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven and see you face to face. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ suffered to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice we offer for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his church. God of mercy and compassion, your word calls us home to faith and love. Accept all we offer you this day in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise. Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. For in these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer, and acts of service, you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word, you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendor of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with saints and angels forever praising you and singing. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour
Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, grant your people grace to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh and the devil, and with pure hearts and minds to follow you, the only God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May God give you the grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourself, to take up your cross and follow him, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.